Hey all, Technical Evangelist Kurt Chan here. And today we're going to talk about tips and tricks in regards to leveraging the 2D contour and trace operation. Let's go ahead and dive right in. As you can see in this example, I'm going to showcase how we can actually create this helical tapered swept feature. So let's go ahead and break it down. In this first example, I want to showcase how do we even create this tapered profile cut. Looking at the model, you can see that I don't have an optimum edge I would leverage in the trace operation. So let's take a look at how I created this feature. Editing the swept feature, you can see that I have my path and my profile. Now, the key part is I want that edge to work with, right? So how do I even create the taper? Well, we can actually add a taper angle right here on the far right. And if I just change it from a negative to a positive, you see you can taper outward versus inward, and I don't even have the choice to, to do a twist. So if I wanted it to create a helix all the way around, I would change that twist angle, and then of course extend my path all the way down a little bit further so it can follow along. But for right now, we'll just keep the twist angle at zero. Now the key is, if we zoom on in, you'll see that I have the circular path, the, the actual profile of the diameter, which my, my ball in, which is a quarter of an inch, but I still don't have that edge. So what I did is if I clear out this profile, you can see that I actually created a V right here. And if I pick this now as my profile and follow along the path, it will give me this internal, this little edge right here that I can leverage and trace. So if I come back over here to cam under my setup, edit the trace, You'll see here, let's turn on this model under geometry. This is now the edge I can use, which is tapered, and it will taper outward to create the cut that I'm looking for. Except that, I like to turn off my model and then turn my stock on during the simulation just to get an idea of exactly how this would look. So if we look at it here, come in and taper outward to create the cut that we're looking at. So what happens now if we wanted to twist all the way around? How do we even do that? Let's dive in. Let me show you guys how you can create this helix wrapped around this model. And then two, you gotta ask yourself, if I use the trace operation, would this be the right operation to create the cut that I'm looking for? Probably not. What we do want is the toolpath to fully wrap around the profile normal to the face of the cylinder. How do you even create the helix? Well, our very own Patrick Rainsbury created a helix generator which you can get off of GitHub, and I included a link at the bottom. Once you install the Helix Generator, if you go into the Add-ins, drop down and go to Scripts and Add-ins, and click on the Add-ins button, you'll see here where you can click on Helix Generator and start it. Once you start the add-in, then under Sketch, you will now find Helix. And it's actually pretty simple. So from here, we'll just pick the face we want it to be on, and it already gives you a quick preview of what it will be. And then now we can change the radius, so we can go with the diameter of 2 inches, change the pitch, let's go with 7, but we'll change the direction of the pitch to negative, and go the opposite way, and we can even change the revolutions, but all we need is just enough to cover the actual diameter or the length of the circle. Once we now have the helix, now we need to project it onto the face of the cylinder. So we can use our quick shortcut with the S key, dig up project to surface. And from here now, pick the face, the curve that we want to project. And now we have it go and stop the sketch. We can even turn off that initial one. And now we have the exact sketch or the helix we want the tool to follow. Now hop it back over to cam and we're going to go ahead and edit the trace command and pick that curve as our new geometry, well you see now, it's going to turn off the actual model, and I'm going to simulate this and turn on the stock, and you see this, this isn't exactly what we're going for here. We actually want it to fully wrap around the cylinder, and this is where fourth axis simultaneous, or we call it fourth axis wrap, comes into play. Let's go ahead and dive in with that. So how do you access the fourth axis wrap functionality? Well, I've actually included a couple tutorial links in the description below, but you can actually under 2D, you're going to drop them and pick 2D contour. Now, once you pick the geometry that you want to follow, you'll notice that it looks like a projection. Well, the key is under 2D contour, you're going to pick wrap toolpath. It's going to kind of 
give you a preview of what it's going to look like. But for the wrap cylinder, all you're going to do is just pick that cylinder that you want it to follow along. Go ahead and say OK. And we'll go ahead and turn off the geometry. And let's go ahead and simulate. And we can see it. Turn on the stock. And let's see how this looks. There we go. So all you have to do is just adjust the heights to show you how deep you want it to go down. And now you have your app toolpath. So hopefully this helped you guys out. Hopefully you guys learned something new. Definitely go download that Helix generator. And if you have a fourth axis, hopefully this helps you out as well. Thanks again for watching, guys.